So hi guys, today I'll be showcasing some custom LEGO minifigures based off the cameos in Deadpool and Wolverine. First up we have Gambit. How long I've been waiting for this? Woo, I'm about to make a name for myself here. Yeah. First of all, you can see that I have included a translucent pink playing card just to represent when he's using his powers. I've also given him dual molded legs and that is mainly because that way the trench coat and the boots wrap around the entirety of the leg and don't just stop at the back like some other figures. I've also colored his actual head as dark blue. Even though in the film, in some spots it looks dark gray or black, in the behind the scenes pictures it is most definitely dark blue, so I'm glad that I went for that color choice. Plus, it's a bit more vibrant. I also included his iconic pink energy staff, which the build is inspired by purist art over on Instagram, but instead of using screwdrivers on either end, I opted for the lipstick piece. Next up, we have the Cavalrine. He comes with two Wolverine claws in pearlescent silver, jeans, and a new singlet print. The face is just my Hugh Jackman Wolverine face modified to look more like Henry Cavill, and I'm very happy with how that turned out. For the hair, I just combined Henry Cavill Superman's hair with the Wolverine hair. I know, who would have thought, but I'm really glad with how it came out. I also made a new cigar piece for him, where that little flame piece can attach and act as smoke. Next up, we have Wolverine in his brown suit. Now for this figure, I did base it off the concept art, so at first I coloured his belt in red and I had to change that later on, which I'm kind of upset about because the belt in red looks much much better and more comic accurate. But besides that, he obviously comes with his two Wolverine claws in pearlescent silver, and the face is just modified from my existing cute Jackman Wolverine face, just to include that iconic Wolverine smirk. And next up we have Blade. I know, I know, many of us thought he was retired, but he is back. Now in terms of the figure, I have given him a gunmetal grey torso with dual molded arms and dual molded legs. He also obviously comes with a blade, but unfortunately the sword isn't the same that it was in the first three Blade movies, so I did opt for this machete, which is more accurate to the shape we see in Deadpool 3. I also made a new piece for his little boomerang weapon. Blade also has an alternate face, which is a little bit more stern. But moving on from that, you may have noticed that his hairpiece is in fact new and combines Finn's hairpiece from Star Wars with the existing Widow's Peak hairpiece to get that more accurate Blade hairline. It was also really cool to revisit Wesley Snipes' Blade as a Lego figure because I did draw him a few years back as well. But yeah, here's a quick comparison. But anyway, moving on. Next up, we have the Age of Apocalypse variant of Logan. This one is honestly one of my favorites just because of how different the colors are compared to the rest of the Wolverines. I also gave him a new hairpiece, which honestly just combined a bunch of existing hairpieces because nothing was really capturing the feral nature of his hair. He also comes with a translucent green bottle of alcohol and two dual molded arms, one of which is missing a hand to represent that stub he has. And last but not least, we have my favourite of the bunch, and that is Short Wolverine. He comes with dual molded arms, a green bottle accessory, mid legs, a new torso print, and the same Hugh Jackman face that I've been using for the other figures. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with how he turned out, and I did use the mid legs just because that gives him that movement that short legs wouldn't have, which even though short legs might be more accurate height wise, I just prefer the movement over the height. Unfortunately, that is it for today, but thank you guys so much for watching, and please feel free to comment down below what you guys want to see from me next, because I am taking suggestions, and what you might comment might be the next video, so keep a lookout, subscribe, stay tuned, and thank you guys so much. See ya.